<clears throat> Corset. Noun. A close-fitting garment stiffened with whalebone or similar material and often capable of being tightened by lacing and closing the trunk, worn especially by women to shape and support the body. So yeah, basically this pretty thing that goes around your waist and suffocates you for a bit in order to give you curves. I actually love corsets. In fact, I love them so much that the one I have has been worn out within six months. I'll actually never forget the night that it came in through the mail. The company was nice enough to tie up the laces for me in the back. Not all companies do that. I was super excited, but at the same time, a bit nervous because I knew beforehand how much it squeezes you. And then my boyfriend said, you should try it on, honey. R really? At first I was struggling to close it up, and then I became afraid I may have gotten the wrong size because Asian sizes are different from American sizes, even though I followed the size charts for different locations. But finally, it successfully closed up and I could not breathe or move. I was stiff as a board, I could barely even walk right. My boyfriend complimented me and went to hug me. DON'T TOUCH ME! The funniest part was when I was pacing back and forth in the room to try and make the fabric stretch a bit, my boyfriend looked in the package again to see if there was anything else inside. He then called me over and I saw this small black thing on the countertop. From how it was positioned, we couldn't figure out what it was. When he asked about it, I got a closer look and said, oh, it's probably extra padding in case the uh, corset's interior gets damaged. And then I picked it up. Oh my god, it's a thong! We freaked out because at that time our relationship was still a bit new, so that made it a bit awkward for us. This corset took a few times to get used to, and now it's come to the point that when I wear it, I can hardly tell it's on when I'm standing up. But when I'm sitting down, yeah, that's still the same feeling. But that's expected because when I sit, I naturally hunch over. And that's why I don't always wear it in college because I have long glasses. Speaking of going out in public, if you're a goth or any alternative person and you're wearing a corset, you are bound to get more reactions with this thing on than you usually do without it. I mean, God forbid I wear something that wraps around my waist that makes me a bit skinnier and people look at me like I have three heads. I mean, I do get some compliments from other girls when I wear it, but other than that, I just watch as people turn their heads like owls and go silent. Okay, so here's a couple tips. If you're having a lazy dress day with a plain black t-shirt and plain black pants or tights or a skirt, put on that corset and your outfit will instantly become more dramatic. Trust me, I do this trick on all the days I just wish to stay home and be a potato all day instead of going to college and learn something. Another fun thing belts. Put a belt loosely over your corset and bam, diva. By the way, if you're not alternative like I am, but you still want to try a corset, there are many colorful corsets out there. I personally like looking at the blue ones, since blue is my second favorite color besides red. Bet you can't guess my main favorite color. <laughs> For anyone curious about trying on a corset, I say do it. Just make sure you 1. Follow all the size charts, including ones from different locations. And 2. Read a lot of product reviews on the ones that you're interested in. This way, you all know on whether it's worth buying or not. Thank you guys so much for watching. I do apologize sincerely for pushing the upcoming video about growing up with siblings aside. It's just that animation isn't exactly coming along the way I planned it to, but hey, in the near future it's bound to be posted. Also, don't forget to subscribe so you can catch my upcoming videos. You can also follow my social media pages to see what I'm up to. And I'll see you guys later.